Cable mod, power cord, power supply, direct replacement kits are now available for Cooler Master V-Series power supplies. Hey guys, it's TTL back with another rush kit video for you. And today we're going to be taking a quick look at the Z170A from Asus. It's obviously one of the new um, Skylake boards with the Z170 chipset. And this is just a very quick recap, uh, mainly about aesthetics on the board. So here we go. And the reason why I want to do it is because it's the A version, which is what I would call the beginning of the premium. And generally with the uh, previous generation A's for the Z97 and Z87, this would have been gold. And the fact that we've now got this nice white cover on the top and the white heatsink here makes it look very much like the X99 Deluxe, which is obviously carries quite a high price premium. But this comes in at just £115. Now I did my 6600K and 6700K tests on this this board this was the board i used to do my review on so i know that with the i7 um i managed to get 350 base clock out of this i had a 4.8 gigahertz overclock um, i managed to get 5 gigahertz just by doing the multiplier um, uh, i managed to get 3700 megahertz memory running um, all with this 115 pound board um, you do get the like a separate audio channel down here as well, and they do call it the Crystal Sound. You can see it just there. It does have some legacy parts on it, um, but you do get uh, an M.2 slot up to 110 mil. You get a power button. There's a uh, little um, uh, header here for water pump. So if you've got an AIO that uses one of these, you can actually set up your water pump with a custom header. There's so much software that comes in the uh, disc for this, it's actually a bit mental, and I'm not gonna bore you by going through every last bit of it, but there's an absolute plethora of it. And the Asus AI suite, I, I never used to like it, and then uh, ever since recently, I thought, you know what I mean, I got talked into giving it a try, and it is amazing now. I still don't like overclocking from the desktop with it, but um, I, I think you should do that in the BIOS because I'm an old fudger. Uh, but th this board for 115 is an absolute bargain. And the other reason why I wanted to talk to you about it just quickly in this review so that you can get a quick look at it is because um, because of the experience I had with it over the time that I was doing the i5 and the i7 review, I ended up giving it a gold award as well. So 115 quid, gold award, perfect for those of you out there that are on a budget and possibly thinking about getting into Skylake. Um, you can pick up DDR4 now from about £120 as well for decent kits. So absolutely spot on. Um, so yeah, so really this was just about the looks and to give you a really, really rushed review on it as well. And like I said, it's more than capable for overclocks. You do need to get a little bit more hands on with the, the memory side of it. But I think that's going to be uh, a little more easier when um, certain BIOS updates come through. But I can't really praise this enough for the money it's almost a bit of a no-brainer cable mod paracord power supply direct replacement kits are now available for cooler master v-series power supplies